Hi, this is your Sapin Bhartia and welcome to TFR. Let's talk. Today we have with us once again Dave Birmingham, Senior Technical Evangelist at Sios Technology. Dave, it's great to have you on the show again. Yeah, thanks for having me back. I'm glad to be here. Today we are going to talk about Sios Data Keeper and optimizing SQL Server FCIs for highly transactional databases in AWS. Can you talk about what kind of challenges do highly transactional databases face when running in the cloud? Highly transactional databases require low latency and high performance storage to process large numbers of reads and writes efficiently. So network-based storage solutions like um, AWS FSx often reduce latency because the data must travel over the network, which can impact performance. Uh, also, solutions like FSx cannot always ensure that application and storage reside in the same availability zone or placement group. That further increases the latency and adds potential bottlenecks. These challenges make network-based storage uh, solutions unsuitable for workloads where millisecond delays can cause significant performance degradation. And when you're talking about you know, uh, these challenges, what impact it has on the teams and on business continuity? Yeah, those challenges will um, manifest themselves in the actual user experience. So that where the backend database, if it's not able to um, transact in a timely fashion, that will result in um, you know, application timeouts, bad user experience. And overall, that will mean that you are having downtime. So it's just because a server is up and running and applications up and running, if it's not running efficiently or experiencing errors uh, with, you know, with timeouts, then that's not highly available. So that's why having, you know, very fast, low latency storage is going to be important for those highly transactional databases. How does Sios Data Keeper addresses those challenges that you talked about in the beginning as compared to other solutions which are available in the market? Yeah, Data Keeper uses just locally attached cloud storage. So if we're talking about AWS, that's the EBS volumes. So those disks are attached to the inst each instance in the cluster. And you can use any available cloud storage. So whatever premium storage, low latency, high speed, IO extreme, whatever you know, flavor the cloud vendor offers, you can attach it to your uh, instance to ensure that you have the highest, fastest, lowest latency storage available. And by doing that, that ensures that the storage is always local to the active server. And that eliminates the, the latency associated with network-based storage. And by using locally attached disk, you can ensure that the disk is always in the same availability zone or the same placement group when the cluster fails over. So that also eliminates the possible additional latency added when you find yourself sometimes with other solutions running storage in one zone and your, um, your workload, your, your compute in another work zone. Why is placement consistency critical for a high availability database workloads? Yeah, as I was kind of getting at, the placement consistency ensures that the compute and the storage resources are always in the same availability zone or placement group. And that's gonna minimize the latency to ensure predictable performance. When that placement consistency is not guaranteed, workloads can experience delays caused by the data traveling across zones or network hops. So with DataKeeper, the active database server and its attached EBS volumes are always co-located, ensuring the high performance and quick fillover without relying on network-based storage solutions. Let's also talk about what are the cost benefits of using Sios Data Keeper with EBS volumes instead of other solutions because companies are becoming very, very cost sensitive. Yeah, so Data Keeper is gonna eliminate the need for, which can often be expensive network attached storage solutions by letting you leverage the less expensive locally attached um, cloud volume solutions like EBS volumes for local storage. As you look at uh, solutions like FSx that require high performance tiers to match the performance needs for transactional workloads, that will significantly increase the cost of those solutions. And by comparison, Sios enables customers to achieve high availability with direct attached uh, storage that's going to reduce your storage cost while also maintaining or even enhancing the performance. 
And this is particularly impactful for organizations seeking to optimize their cloud uh, spending while supporting demanding uh, workload applications. How does SIOS ensure high availability and disaster recovery for highly transactional databases in AWS? Yeah, in AWS, we are going to synchronize those EBS volumes that are attached to each instance between not only the availability zones in real time, but also uh, if you want to replicate between regions, we will do this asynchronous replication between regions so that if there's a failure occurs the, you'll be able to swell over to the standby system in the other availability zone and the data is already there ready to go and attach to that instance. So that's going to minimize the downtime and uh, ensure that your application and storage again are always located in the same region. And then if you have a regional failure then um, SIOS is going to have your data replicated to that uh, distant region so that you can uh, recover in the event of a disaster in an entirely different region with minimal to no data loss. So with asynchronous replication, we're usually talking about seconds or less of your, you know, for a recovery point objective. So it's a great solution for not only high availability, but for disaster recovery. Dave, once again, thank you so much for joining me today and talk about this topic. And as usual, I look forward to chatting with you again. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for having me.